Cecilia, uh, Lich, Lich, Cohort, so yeah, skirmish front line and one cavalry unit. Okay, let's uh, let's take these guys out then. Another fight. Oh, goody gum drops, eh? Yeah, if we could try and get at least quite a few fights in a session, that's gonna be really good. Cause like I said, this this playthrough is gonna fucking go on for and quite so a bit. So. If anyone has been watching this diligently, um, you know, obviously people who I don't know, then thank you. But if you are watching this, I would highly recommend subscribing, you know. just It's just a good way to keep up with the videos, that's it really. I don't know how many times I've said that. <laughs> like, it doesn't mean anything for me, It just I'm just saying out of curios uh, curiosity. I'm saying it out of convenience for yourself, that's all. Have surely smiled upon us. The omens are so numerous and so in our favor that I cannot describe them all and still have time for a battle today. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth and let this be one more. March on and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. I think we all know after we take care of the Scipii and the Brutii, yeah, we will be true Romans after that. Unit! Unit! Okay then, let's uh, let's get started then, shall we? Double speed, please. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I was adjusting my, my glasses. Right, so, everyone's moving up now. Looks like we're going to the left side. Well, obviously that depends if, uh... Obviously that depends if the Scipii cuts us to it, but at least we'll have the advantage on neutral ground, at least. Well, this should be fun. Uh, do you know what? I think, actually, we'll go for this camera view for this fight, I think. Yeah, a nice frontline camera view, eh? Just because I'm a little lazy. <laughs> Uh, nah, I did say I was going to switch between the two. I think it just depends. If it's like a big battle, then I will. But if it's like a, a two to one like this, probably we'll just uh, go normally. I mean, you already know the layout of the enemy army. It's just mainly front line with one missile troop and uh, a cav unit for the captain. That's about it. Although, I'll be honest, I'm not liking the look of that three unit Roman cavalry and that nine unit Velite. Hmm. I mean, it'll do it now. I mean, I've got a couple of missile troops. See, that's the one of the good things I like about the auto management, because you get different types of stacks. Like, you'll get one that'll have more infantry, another that'll have more skirmishers, one that'll have more cavalry. It's just, it's a really, really cool thing, you know? It just sort of switches things up a little bit instead of going for the, the usual units. Because, I mean, I'd imagine one of the usual setups for a stack would probably be, what, two generals, three cavalry unit, a lot of frontline infantry, a few uh, a few skirmishes maybe, you know. Because I think I've seen somebody with uh, two generals, three cavalry units, or five cavalry units in general, about at least five infantry units and about six or seven skirmishes. I mean, I don't know if that just comes down to personal taste, but at least with this we can have different types of stacks, which would be quite cool. Especially when we get to the factions that has a lot more versatility in the units, like, you know, different types of units. And the stacks look really, really different, you know, from each other. That would be useful. Alright, well anyway, we're going in now. The slingers and the archers providing cover. So yeah, so we're going to throw in the pelum at least. The elephants are getting stuck in as well. All of the camera angles for the uh, the missiles. Yeah, other than that, we're kind of done now. We got them all, I think. The enemy 
General Fleece! Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too! Easy enough. <laughs> these guys out completely. Looks like it. I mean there's still a couple of units not writing yet, so that should be fun. The enemy general is running away. This is no way Ouch. for a minute. <laughs> the enemy oh, well, true yep, Let's end the battle. Oh yeah, look at this that. Eater. Good. So because we killed them, I'm actually gonna stick these guys into the settlement. Because I have a task Victory! for Yeah, they can go this time, cool. Because I have a task for these guys. Let's have a look here. Oh, it's like a fort, no way. <laughs> I was gonna send him after the general, but after that, hell no. Two units left. Um, actually, I could do. Nah, because they'll just end up thinking. Uh, let's just move him. Actually, do you know what? Let's send these guys after the general. We'll keep these mercs and dimity. At least that way we can, uh. At least that way we can, um, finger. Oh, pardon. Uh, we could keep the public order at least. And we got these two stacks, they're sorted, so yeah, good overall. Uh, question is, any boats around here? Because I wouldn't mind getting some more troops from Liberia down here. And that is actually a negative. Oh. Are these guys just marching back and forward? Oh, what the fuck these guys are doing? Oh, we have a general actually. A couple of generals. Hmm. Uh, who's up for a, a rebel battle, eh? Let's have a look how long I've been recording for. Half an hour? That's not too bad, that. Feels like I've been recording for a, a good fucking hour or so. Alright, let's get another battle then. Let's, uh, let's deal with some rebels, shall we? Okay, so what have they got? They've got Iberian infantry, Jesus. It's us, so that's a lot of... Oh, it's all Iberian stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I've not seen Iberian stuff in a while. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Let's fight this in the battle map, then. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll take these guys out, then. See how this goes, eh? No, oh, it's been a while since we fought some rebels, I'm not gonna lie. And it's a battle in Iberia as well. We not fought in Iberia in a while. And more worthy than men of their type have any right to be. They have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. We outnumber them by a large margin. But this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. They will, unless completely unthinking, try to use the woods to screen some of their troops. The enemy will try to conserve their strength by firing at us. We must close and fight them hand to hand, like true men. Yeah, we will do. No worry. So we're done. This morning, nope. An eagle circled the camp <laughs> Count three times, times, then flew towards the rising sun. Such a portent can only That's be a funny. good day for us A pigeon today. circled around me three times this morning Some and shot on me. <laughs> nah, not literally, but... I think, was it today? Or was it the other day? I think it was the other day, actually, pardon. <laughs> That's what I just ran my view. Do you know, I actually remember uh, a couple of, a few years ago, um, my dad came in from um, work one, after, uh, one evening, and literally, just as soon as he, uh, he came in, a pigeon uh, crapped in the shoulder <laughs> on his good coat. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, he wasn't happy. <laughs> he was supposed to be good luck. <laughs> that was just one of the uh, that was one of the funniest moments I remember. <laughs> Although another moment for me personally was a uh, I was uh, walking down a street once, and um, I saw a pigeon land on a street light, and I looked up right. And I'm not joking. It's looking at me, and I'm thinking, you fucking dare. And just as soon as I got to the lamppost, it crapped right in front of me. <laughs> Literally, a few seconds earlier, and that would have landed on me. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, according here, according to people here in the UK, apparently getting pooped on by a pigeon is good luck. <laughs> I don't see anything good luck about that. I am not gonna lie. <laughs> Whoever came up with that idea is a moppet. Oh, I'm telling you, you gotta you gotta love life sometimes. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so we're just gonna follow up. Just gonna thingy these guys up if we can. Don't be that too bad. Yeah, I know, I'm going for this camera view, but... Sometimes you just gotta kick back and just watch the fight, right? Big fights, I'll do... The, uh, the whole, uh, camera zooming and stuff. Got killed the Roman general. Uh, Roman generals? <laughs> this got killed the rebel generals. Do you know? Speaking of rebels, I want to play. Uh, really want to play Star Wars Battlefront now. Uh, not the uh, the new remake ones that's came out over the years, but the uh, the old ones for the PlayStation Two and the early two thousands. That there were fun couple of games for the PlayStation Two. I'll definitely be uh, considering those games in the uh, the future. I'm not joking, there's a lot of games I want to play right now, just not the time, you know? Not to mention, I've fucking chosen a couple of games that's going to take a while anyway. <laughs> oh well, that's cool. That's the thing about recording. You can, uh, the difference between watching videos and making videos is just so different, you know? Like, you know when you're a viewer and you said you um, request a game when somebody asks it and then you're like really hyped like oh that person's gonna play it and then you know they're not going to trust me I've seen a few people uh, do that and they're not happy myself included I've, re I've requested a game like way in the past excited that one of my favorite let's players at that time was going to do it and just didn't do it do you know what I mean Oh well, I'm not calling anyone out, but to be extremely honest, I don't even think they make videos anymore. I'm talking years ago here. But, actually making the videos and playing the games that you want, well, not only for yourself, but for other people as well, it's it's really cool, you know? Right, well anyway, there's nothing much this stack can do, really. I mean, we're pretty much secured here and here, really. I mean, if you want to march to the front line, you can if you want. Uh, do you join on with anyone? Yep, you join here. You're going anywhere. You're not actually doing anything, are you? No, you're not. Why are you not moving? Get your ass down here, if possible. Okay, let's see. Where are you guys going? You guys are going fucking nowhere. I'm, I'm honestly, we need to start bringing some troops down here, big time. Yeah, you get, you get your ass down here as well. Are you moving? No, you're not. not possible, sir. Yes, it is not possible. possible of course it's possible. Shut up. Right, I'll take that. That's better than nothing. Okay, so we're going over here now. Are they actually came for the... No, they didn't. Interesting. Okay, although... Yeah, this is going to be another big fight. So, I guess we better do that now then, aren't we? Imperative. Yeah. Okay, so let's move here and then we can use this guy to attack them here then good this is where i want him nice we're just out of move point are you joking me we're just out of movement points oh fuck's sake ah oh, you joking me that's fine at least i can get these troops into suggestica then so that will uh bolster them up a wee bit any emergent yeah we're just emergent cool Right, I think I think that's all we can do really. We got the full stack here and the fort, but they're not really uh moving. So we'll have to see what happens though. Anything on the mainland? No, nothing really. Okay, well oh yeah, we got the sea cheering uh side cruise. Okay, let's do this then and we'll uh we'll auto resolve it. And another settlement for us, thank you very much. Alright, so that's Cyber Cruise. Exterminate the public. Thank 
fucking go. No time for the big one. So we'll leave you and we'll leave you out here. And we'll bring you out here. No mercs, but that's fine because I need to uh, just wait until some mercenaries are available, then we can buy them. At least, um, any people here? Negative. Okay, so that's a, a clean ship. Anyone here? In nope. So we need to get the ship around and start killing some of these guys, if possible. Good. And they retreated. Oh, question is, what about these two ships? So these guys got any troops? Mm, nope. Oh, the other one. Nope. Okay, but well we still have to take some guys out, if possible, but I know for a fact that's going to kill us, so we're going to put these guys into the dock if we can. You know, maybe they might get retrained. Alright, down here in yeah, Croton is uh, revolting. Uh, if that's the case, then. You get these guys out, any mercs? Nope, no mercs. Uh, we could just throw these guys in. We could throw them into the settlement. Nope, nothing. Really? Okay. Uh, yeah. They're gonna be rioting anyway. I mean, is there anything we could do to change the, uh... Anything we do to change the public order? Not really. Nah, there's nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. Sparta doesn't look happy either, but is there anything we could do here? Uh, nope keep down culture then just to try and boost the uh, public order a wee bit. I could actually if I wanted to. How many stacks in here? Ooh, decent amount of army actually. I was going to see if we can cheekily take Athens actually but we'll deal with that later. Okay, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens then. We've got troops moving at least. Okay, Conriff is revolting. Oh, you... Oh, right. Fuck. Oh, well, that's great, isn't it? That's great. Comrif is fucking revolted. Brill. That is absolutely fucking brilliant. And Lung Dinham's revolting. Great. Uh, any troops? Well, we can send a few troops, I guess. We'll leave. A couple here. Let's send them back in here, then. Okay, now it's blue. We'll take that. That's not too bad, at least. Fucking hell. Uh, got an army? Oh, we have got an army. What the fuck, really? Uh, well, I guess we can... Nah, I don't want to risk it. Um, no, 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 no. I was going to take him round. Nah, you, you're better off just... You're better off just thinking. Jesus, I didn't know I had another army here. Fucking hell. Um, do you know what? You could probably follow him. I guess. Sack is the coming. Why is he going up there? Ah, uh, no, we need everyone down here. Cassius Julius is going to move all the way down here. Well, at least they can follow him then. That's not too bad. Um, I think... Yeah, that's all we can do this turn, actually. Oh, no, did we just do the turn? Yeah, we just did the turn. I was, I was thinking, I was like, wait, what? Okay, we lost a bit of money. That's fine. Uh, Pupius Lewis got Pet Lion. Narcius Julius is Master Smith. Okay, two new family members. Very nice. Highways, Press Range, Cold Prancer's Palace. So just a lot of buildings. Uh, a lot of people getting trained. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, well, let's focus down here, then. Like I said, they're just going quad by quadrant by quadrant, sorry. Okay, so we're going to take Serta first. Might as well do this now. Yeah, might as well. We'll do this now so we can prepare for that full stack. We do have uh, an enemy here. We will do this manually. A uh, bit of experience on the troops here, so... <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope, because we need to get these guys in as well. Yeah, we need to get these guys in as well. Fuck. Although they do have the blister, actually. Yeah, they do have the blister. Okay, we'll do this then. They can uh, break down the walls at least. Okay, let's make sure it's on AI and let's do this then. So, we can take Surta this time. So, 
So, the other army will be using a ram and some ladders. We'll be using the ballista so we can fire the ballista onto the gate and then we can just rush in. So, Serta will be ours then, hopefully. The day Better look. Gone, grim and terrible. But how much more terrible to be facing Romans such as us? Even now, fear must weaken the bowels of our foes. Do not fear our enemies today. <sighs> the Scipii are Romans, and they are just men, not gods. They can be killed. They think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. Our numbers are vastly superior. It may not seem fair, but we are not here to oh, be fair, me only up. to win. Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. Another one of our armies is nearby and ready to fall upon the enemy. We go now to our bloody business! And onwards to bloody hell. <laughs> Units, await my orders! Units! Fuck, come on. Oh, what am I pressing here? I'm pressing control G, aren't I? Units! Oh, Units. it's just normal G, not control G. What am I playing? Okay, well, let's see what these guys do then. I'm telling you, I don't know what the ballista's gonna fire. This will be interesting. I'll do this on double speed, by the way. Even though it's a bit janky, but. Well, that was right. They'll probably be firing onto the wall itself, I'd imagine. At least we're not dealing with any siege towers or anything like that. Okay, where are you firing? Firing onto the wall itself. Interesting. Well, I think we're going to be here all day, aren't we? <laughs> wow. Is that going to take all the ammo? Actually, do you know what? Redirect onto the reinforced gates if possible. No. Nope, they're firing on the back of the finger. Brill. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to have to save that off for a sec. Do that. Take that off. Right. Attack the reinforced gates. Because if we can destroy the gate, that means we can just go straight in. Not the gate host, the gate. Oh well, it doesn't matter. They're all in now. We'll rush into the other side, I guess. Fuck it, right? Yeah, we can just rush in now from the other side and we can just pelt the one fucking area. That'll do. Oh, one of our... One of our units is already broken. Oh, we've got ladders as well. That's not too bad. Who is it that's broken? Your auxilia? No, it must be. Hmm, don't know why they're breaking. I'm surprised that the uh, the ram didn't get broken, but... We should, we should take this alright, shouldn't we? We should. We should be able to take this salmon alright. Auxilia is going to, uh, oh actually, so what, well, we captured the walls, so, oh, we captured all the walls, I thought we captured the gatehouse then. Yeah, we're going to get absolutely slaughtered here in the beginning. Should be fine if we get our other troops up on the walls. But, you know. That's life. 
We do have other units uh, coming up and stuff. Actually, we've got the majority of our units already in, so we can get to the square while these guys are being held off. That should be quite well for us, actually. Let's see what happens. Here comes the uh, cavalry auxiliary. So, uh, we'll probably finish these guys off. <laughs> Christ, finish them off before I can finish my sentence. <laughs> okay, yeah, we've got some light auxiliary engaging with the, um, the early literary cohort, so... That should go one or two ways, I guess. Yeah, we, we lost quite a few units there, but alas, should be fine. Okay. Looks like these guys are walking towards the walls. That's cool, at least. Bit of engagement. No, let's just run off the walls. See how these guys get along. So, we kind of got units spread around the walls a minute. Which I'm not gonna lie, is pretty okay. Uh, question is, where's our general unit? General units over here. He's running. Uh, excuse the lag. That's what you get for moving the camera around a lot. But like I said, I'm trying to do some double speed. I think maybe at this point we should just pick one of the uh, units and Bob's your uncle. Uh, let's just I don't know. Let's pick a. Yeah, there we go. We'll go from this view now. On our way to um, on the way to the main square. At least I don't think anyone's at the main square just yet. Yeah, there is one person at the main square. Let's go see how let's go see how they're doing. We're in the wrong area. Yeah, we're in the wrong area. At least I think it's the square. Is this the square? Oh, here we go. Let's see who's here. So we have a unit of auxilia marching onto the square. So, our question is, War Dogs and who's that? That is a unit of Hestati. I think I knew it's a Hestati. Yep, Hestati, good. Alright, so ultimately things are kind of all over the shop right now. <laughs> all over the place. To say the least, I'm not going to lie. We do have some resistance here and there. Is that all war dogs? I think it is, yeah. Alright, cool. Get it down. Alright, let's see if there's anybody else that's been engaging. Not really. Units are still moving up. So you gotta love the, uh... What does that say? Parfilis Cure. Roman vs. Divon Tintitor Divine. Espasa FIFA. See, that's the thing though, it's all in Latin, but not in the spacing in the letters. Could have done with putting the font down just a wee bit. That way we can finger. Alright, so we're gonna have an engagement here between Auxilia and Auxilia. Although they are running. <laughs> they must have saw the other boys <laughs> in the middle running. <laughs> cool. So, we're going to square. Is our Auxilia, is Auxilia fighting? They are, but I think they're getting killed. Yeah, they're just routing now. Oh well, nothing we can do. We're gonna take some losses, but hey ho, what can the guy do? Away? Yeah, this might actually be the the last fight of the session, I think. <laughs> Still got the the war dogs running amok. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that one Simpsons episode I watched the other night. I'm not a huge fan of the Simpsons in general, but there was this one episode where. I missed the first um, 10 minutes of it, but apparently there's like a court case where, I don't know, like, they were trying to say like a dog's life was more valuable than humans, and then basically it just resulted in all of Springfield being taken over by uh, just every single neighborhood dog. <laughs> like, honestly, it was like a fucking post-apocalyptic, it was so crazy. Anyway, we've got the general here at least, so let's see how these guys get on. The hell if this auxiliary unit wasn't thinking. Oh, these guys are fleeing, aren't they? Got another auxiliary in there. Let's see what they can do. 
general is... Where's the general? Oh, general's here. Come on, take him down. Take him down. There we go. The enemy general is dead! His enemy general's dead. Good, 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 good. So now all that's left is to take the square then. I think we've pretty much conquered every single major squadron. Quantant? Yeah, Quantant. Is that even a word? I think so. Well, we, we conquered most of the city now anyway. Most of the, uh, the enemy garrisons were taken out, so all that's left now is just to advance onto the square, finish off the war dogs, and pardon the Astartian. That's about it, I think. Yeah. Let's have a look at these guys. What are they doing? They are fighting, apparently. Okay. Alright, we'll go from this view now. Just because we're about to hit the main square, so this would be a, a nice ending point. Take Serta, and then we can carry on in the next session. Um, what I think I might start doing from now on, starting the next session, is uh, I think I might actually start from the game itself as the, the main menu. I mean, normally starting at the main menu is kind of like my little, uh, little niche from the intros, but I think from this point on, uh, next session I will start recording from the game itself, I think. Just, I don't know. I think it'll just be a lot of better, you know, you're already in the game and save the intro for the start of the playthrough and then do the the ending for the end of the playthrough, you know? Well, the uh, the main menu at the, the end. You know what I mean, when you complete the game and the credits roll and all that shit. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a really interesting play for this. I mean, it's been going on for a long time now, I mean, fucking two months. Jesus. But to be extremely honest, there's been some playthroughs on YouTube that's lasted for fucking over a year or so. And I'm not lying. And you gotta remember, some playthroughs that take months, that playthrough only gets updated at least once every couple of days. I'm upload I'm updating this every day. <laughs> so the question is, how long's my patience and how long can this last? <laughs> ah, I don't know, I'm comfortable doing this tonight. I think one of the things uh, you got to think about when you're making videos is uh, how long are you willing no, let me, let me start it over, right? So, there's quite a few people who I've been seeing on YouTube recently and on, like, social media platforms that are saying, oh, do you know, I'm getting They're burned out, soldiers. I'm going to take a break and never come back to doing it and stuff. Wow, that's kill 361. Jesus, that's a lot of troops, that. It's like 150 per stack, that. But, yeah, you're saying, like, oh, we're getting burned out, we're not going to do it anymore, that kind of shit. And, like, all copyright and stuff. Um, I will be honest with you, I, mean, I can kind of understand, but I think what it is, you just got to, um, really, you just got to take your time with it. I think that's it, really. There we go, we've got full stack again, so that's nice. Oh, look at that, almost near enough full, uh, full troops in each unit's garrison, nice. Um, yeah. Like, obviously, you just got to take your time with it. You know, I, ju I just started, and I don't think I'll get tired anytime soon, so... That might be kind of useful. Obviously, we'll just see. I, I guess every person's different, you know? It's got to take... You just got to take it for what it is, really. Uh, do I want to take these guys out now? Yeah, I might as well. Uh, I saw the resolve. Yeah, e 2 50 finger. That's fine. Oh, we killed the general. Nice. I think we killed the general. Move, Take that. Okay. Um. Oh, nope, that's not what I want to do. Um. How long have been recording for now? An hour. Literally an hour now. Fucking hell. Uh, do I want to record any more? Hmm. Nah, not really. I think I'll end it here. Uh, in terms of the battle plan, I mean, it's just pretty much the same now. It's just take all of North Africa, finish up the Brutii. That's it, really. So, um, yeah, I think I'll end it here now. I'm getting a little tired and my throat's getting dry. I need me uh, 
I need me a cup of tea, I ain't gonna lie. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, the playthrough is getting on pretty well now. I just gotta take it one part at a time. That's pretty much it. Because, <laughs> I mean, we got the Bruti Eye and the Skippy Eye to finish off. We got Macedonia, we got Dacia, we have Scythia, we have Pontus, fucking Parthia, Bruti Eye, Ia, and all of Egypt to deal with. Fucking hell. Ah, oh, fucking hell. What have I done? What have I done? Ah, uh, well, fuck it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and if you're new around here, and uh, drop a comment about anything, and I'll reply. So, um, yeah, I'm fucking getting tired of saying that as well. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Nah, I'm only joking. I'm enjoying this playthrough, and I've got a lot more to, uh, to give and stuff. So, I'll do it properly. So, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the videos. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. And drop a comment. What's your favourite part about the video? Anything. I'll read it and I'll reply. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye for now.